This segment is powered by Gamma Razor Fast Sweepstakes. Slow rackets are boring. Go to Gamma Tennis on Facebook to enter. Good day, tennis fans, and welcome to Tennis Now's News Update Show. As we head into week two, we wanted to take a moment and look back on the best of week one at the U.S. Open. So without further ado, here are the top things from week one. The best quote goes to Victoria Azarenka. You know, I shuffle too, she said, while trying to convince Sam Stozer's LMFAO buddy Red Fu to cross over to her side during an interview with Ted Robinson and Tracy Austin on the Tennis Channel. The best tweet goes to Renee Stubbs. To those who thought Tomich didn't tank against Andy Roddick in his lackluster straight sets loss, you might take the matter up with the four-time Grand Slam doubles champion Renee Stubbs. Leighton Hewitt goes four and a half hours to win and Bernie barely tries against Andy Roddick in his last tourney. Guts are born, not taught, she tweeted. Best improv celebration goes to Kim Kleisters and Bob Bryan on their chest bump. The look on Kleisters' face is priceless. Here's what USOpen.org got when they interviewed Bob Bryan about the chest bump. I thought she executed it great. The form in the air was spot on. It's all downhill from there. Best dynamic duo goes to the Harrison brothers. On Sunday, Ryan and Christian Harrison took out the 14th seed pairing of Colin Fleming and Ross Hutchins to reach the doubles quarterfinals of their first U.S. Open as a team. The Harrisons started the tournament by defeating the fourth seed pairing and have been gaining momentum ever since. In other words, they're pretty legit. Ryan was the French Open quarterfinalist with Matthew Ebden earlier this year and has been playing with Christian and taking his game to a whole nother level. Christian is, or Ryan is the leader, while Christian is the scrappy wildcard who deflects screaming volleys with scissor-handed volleys. Christian is currently the second highest ranked 18-year-old on the ATP Tour. Ryan and Christian, who bear a strong family resemblance to one another, are actually two years apart in age. Best dance moves go to Sam Stozer for her shuffling skills. Sam Stozer won some brownie points with LMFAO. After beating her third round opponent, she pointed to Red Foo in the stands and did a little shuffle. Best breakup goes to Maria Sharapova and Sasha Vujicic. Maria Sharapova is back on the market after calling it quits with LA Laker Sasha Vujicic. The two were together for two and a half years, but never completely tied the knot. Best young player goes to Laura Robson. The extra log on the US Open fire was Laura Robson, and man was she burning. The 18-year-old, who is now officially on everybody's radar after a sparkling U.S. Open campaign, was turning heads this week with clutch performance, much improved movement, and a level of aggressive, aggressive of aggression that was downright scary. Robson, who admitted earlier this week to singing along with Taylor Swift during changeovers, became the yin to Kim Kleister's yang on Arthur Ashe Wednesday. Just as Kleister's was beginning to move the dusty closet of tennis heroes of uh, year, yesteryear, Robson was rising up, all shiny and new. We've seen Robson cause a stir in Grand Slams. As a 15-year-old, she won a set off Danielle Huntikova, and that was just a year before Robson. That was a year after Robson became the first British female to win Junior Wimbledon since 1984. But the Robson we saw this week in consecutive eye-opening victories over Kleisters and Li Na was nothing like what we've seen before. The best departures go to Andy Roddick and Kim Kleisters. We knew we were going to have to say farewell to Kim Kleisters, but Andy Roddick threw his tired bones into the retirement mix on Thursday, and the U.S. Open fell on its axis a bit. A Grand Slam, gravitationally speaking, is only prepared for one legend's retirement per year. There, and then there's a second, and, well, Andy Roddick proved that 30 is the new 40 by calling it quits. The physics go all out of whack. So now we've watched players, we're watching players like Roger Federer, Serena Williams, and Leighton Hewitt a little closer, wondering if they might be next to pull up a chair in the broadcasting booth with John McEnroe and Martina Navratilova. As far as what we'll be losing, well, we'll be losing an immense character and grit in Andy Roddick, and free-flowing warmth and intensity from Kim Clusters. Thankfully now, though, we can look forward to the clocks of Andy Roddick's fourth round match with Juan Martin Del Potro, as the memories of Kleister's last stand are still fresh in our minds. Be sure to check us out at TennisNow.com and follow us on Facebook and Twitter for up-to-the-minute updates. And subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see.